Hey everyone. We're currently 200 meters below sea level in a sea moth. Desperately hunting for the Cyclops engine fragments, which are eluding us. But I do believe that it is time to move on and search in a different location. Because after frantically searching every single one of these mushroom forests, I think it's time to realize that maybe the engine fragments are not in this area. And that maybe they are located somewhere different. Oops, I didn't mean to hit that. So, we're going to be exploring the a different area of Subnautica. If I can find it, of course. But, this area is... Um, where the Degrassi stuff is. Oops. Like where the first part of it is. And, um... I kind of want to check that area out. Because I didn't really explore it a lot last time. It's, um... How do I explain? It's, it's the, um... The really big purple mushrooms. Um, I barely explored it last time. And... Um, let's see, because my life pod is in a different spot than it was in my first playthrough. I believe I need to find one of these reefed out areas over here. And it's in one of the, um, I need the rebreather. I should grab that first. So we're going to get the rebreather first before we actually do any of this, because, um... That's probably a good thing to actually have. I really hope I'm recording. Actually, I'm going to do a quick little check here. Okay, good. I'm recording. Okay. And the video didn't end this time, because Subnautica is a different kind of game that doesn't kill itself whenever I try to minimize. Cool, so I am in fact recording, which is nice to know that the audio will be in this episode. Okay, there we go. Rebreather equipped. Um, Let's uh, see what we got here. charging slowly but it's charging I think we're good okay so we're gonna I want to say it's a little bit past this kelp forest in particular Oh, this is the first. This is the area that I started in for my first playthrough. It was right here. Maybe, maybe not. Actually, I might be wrong on that. There should be reef bags above me in this area. 
I truly am in the right area. Yep, there's reach backs. And then somewhere around here, there should be a little, uh, little holes that lead to the lower cave systems, perhaps. Maybe I'm just wrong entirely and there actually isn't a cave system down here. I remember there being like a, a notification saying that there's like really advanced underground, like, you know, like there's like a deep caves below the surface of this area. I may have been wrong, I guess. Huh. That kind of sucks, I guess. Okay, we've already determined that it's not there. Oops. So... What's that? Sweet. That might be exactly what I need. That'll speed things up a little bit. Okay, what's needed for the scanner room? Um, let's see. <sighs> Titanium, copper, gold, and table coral. That's a pretty easy thing to, to get. In fact, I believe I have most of those resources in the, um, in storage. So, with that scanner room acquired, we might actually be able to find things a little bit more efficiently and not have to worry about constantly hunting. Oh, I could have sworn that there were like a cave system below here. Here, hold on. I'm gonna get gold just in case. That's silver. There we go. Let's see, it was copper, titanium. Okay, so copper, it might be one of the, the more um, difficult things to find because there's no abundant sources of copper, like there is titanium this early on. So with titanium, all we need to do is just find where these stalkers are leaving their stuff behind. Then we can just go and, um, you know, snag some stuff. But that's not really the case with copper. Unless we go and build a prawn suit. Oh, that's all we can store. Alright. That must mean it's time to head back. So what we're going to do is we're going to have all the materials to build a scanner room on site. Although we can't really do that because of um, power restrictions. I don't have a secondary form of storage to be able to just, uh, up and, um, just 
you know, whole lot of materials I need, like a bronze suit or something like that. Because my first playthrough, that's what I did, is I had all the materials in the, in the bronze suit storage. So, although because I don't have... What's this my headphones are like? There we go. Now I need to clean the headphone jack out. Um, let's see. It's back. That is really annoying. It's like a like a electronic buzzing noise. That's gonna give me a headache really fast if I don't figure out how to get rid of it. Hmm. Although we can actually probably get away with doing a... Okay, I'm gonna get a migraine from this stupid buzzing. You guys can't hear it because it's only in the headphones. I know that for a fact, but it is going to drive me crazy. Hold on, I'm going to unplug the headphones real fast and then try to plug them back in. Hold on, I'm just going to gently. Oh, that is loose. That's weird. I can rotate that freely. Sounds clear. I'm a little nervous when I hear the buzzing again. Gosh, that's like a really annoying sound to hear. Is that stupid buzz? It just says it over and over and over and over again with no relenting. So I can make bleach for days, but I don't have any table coral. Yeah, whatever. That didn't work. Um, I don't have enough space in my inventory to do that. Okay, then we'll uh, do that. And something just floated upward. I don't know what. My stuff seems like it's there. We've already been to four, maybe. Maybe not. We'll figure it out. There we go. And scanner room. Which is built somehow. Not like that, apparently. Where's the actual? Okay, so we gotta rotate it. So scanner room, right? 
There, there we go. That's what we need. So, there we go. Might need to reinforce it and probably add more solar panels to the top. That's what we're gonna do. So we need more copper and more quartz. If we're gonna add more solar panels. Oh, shush. Cool, but it's on. I think I already have the scanner HUD chips, that's cool. So we just need the speed upgrade and the range. We can't do the range. Okay, that is pretty far away actually. A fragment to what? Can we go and take a look? Let's see what we can find. It might be out of range. We'll find out. Oops. Ugh. Almost like they're chasing me. Oh, it's a beacon fragment. Oh, something's got me. The stalker grabbed me or something? Yeah, it looks like he did. Huh, unfortunate. All right. There's nothing really subterranean either in the area. Hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get a bunch of materials to build solar panels. And then we're going to deconstruct the, uh, the scanner room. And we're going to rebuild in areas with solar panels on top and hopefully it'll run. So apparently, it wants me to go back there because I missed something. So we're gonna glide on down there and uh, find out, I guess. Probably should have taken the seam off, but so be it. We know our way around. We uh, we explore with the camera drone. Which the camera drone is currently still stuck in there by the looks of it. So that means there's a stalker down there still. So. Okay, stasis rifle. Hello. So. That'll come in handy eventually, I suppose. Cool. Okay, so far so good. The scanner room is turning out to be quite the asset. Even if it only has limited range. 
Hmm. But it definitely will help quite a bit. A lot less exploring will need to be done in the near future. Where'd he go? Seriously? I know I got him. Oh, there he is. There's that one. Okay. Cool. Alright. So... Currently not enough copper. That's for certain. Um, we're going to go and we're going to store a lot of the materials that we don't need. There we go, that should be enough to hold the scanner room, as well as... This will come in handy. Let's see if it can pop up with anything cool. So, one of those, um... Uh... Time capsule apparently had a scanner HUD chip in it, so that really came in handy. Apparently there's not a single piece of copper ore nearby. Okay. Sure, we'll, uh, we'll leave it as that, I guess. Really? No copper ore nearby. Okay. I don't know why I go out and start looking, because it's, I mean, if I can't find any in this, like, vicinity, then there's basically none nearby. Um... things so much. Oh, look at that. Right there. Okay, the scanner room needs to be faster then. Like, a lot faster. Because it has not found anything yet. And there's no way that I picked up every single piece of uh, copper, titanium, ore in this vicinity. There is no way whatsoever. Like, there has got to be just a ton somewhere that I haven't picked up yet. I mean, considering it literally took me about five seconds of searching to find one. Maybe I do need the uh, scanner room speed upgrades. That was silver and gold, right? Yep. Okay, let's go get a bunch of silver and gold then. Just go at it, I guess. Right. Looks like we only build one speed upgrade. That kind of sucks. Hmm. Is it out of range? Now or something? 
Hmm. Nope, there we go. It's still in the jaws of the stalker, though. Huh. Okay. So now we just need to see how many solar panels we can build. Um, okay, we need more titanium. Okay. We should be good. Let's get the uh, module out of here. Let's pack it up. Perfect. All right, uh, we're gonna move in a slightly different direction this time. Specifically, this way. Let's see, I don't know. Oh shoot, I don't have a biochemical reactor. That might turn out to be a little bit of a problem. Well, I do, but like, I don't have a way to like use it. So I mean this this may have been a short lived plan. Cause I don't know if there's a way for me to get power to it without the multi purpose room. So Well, we can always go over here. Or is it over there? Can't quite tell. Oh, it's right here. This is what I was talking about. Was this area? Jelly Shroom Caves. Okay, there's lava stuff down there. That's cool, I guess. Oh, hi. Predatory. Alright, cool. Okay, not cool. What's that? Oh, plants. Cool plants, though. All right. So let's just kind of see if there's anything cool around here. I may not have the tools to even like properly participate in the area. Because this really seems like a, a prawn suit kind of adventure. Those things are so weird. Is 
Is there something bigger in here that I'm not quite aware of? I'm being chased. Whoa. Oh, I gotta get back. There is no way I'm going to make it. Oh, that is a cool, cool, cool screenshot. There we go. It's kind of hard to get one when your arms are in the way. Those things are creepy sounding yet kind of cool sounding. I like it. It's like a super, super special dog. That may or may not want to eat your face, but, you know, just because he's hungry. Hmm. If only there was a way to drive the sea moth closer without needing the death fragment. Well, we know that we can go about a hundred meters in ten seconds, so at best we can probably go decently far and still make it back, I guess. I don't know if that really gives me an excuse to travel too far away. Yeah, I don't think this is an area meant for me. Let's see, the sea moth is less than 300 meters away, so as long as we head back when it hits 40, we'll be good to go. I wonder if there's any more of those weird little crate things that have, like, uh, stuff on them. If only I had the recipe for the geothermal, uh, power sources, then I might actually be able to... What is that? First aid kit... Oh. I 
Okay, I'm good now. That, uh, that, uh, that definitely spooked me. Um, yeah, I'm a low, a little low on space here. Okay, let's see if we can head back to, uh, wherever that was there and check it out. I wonder if there's like a multi-purpose room or um, something like worth it. Oh. In this area. Cause I need the multi-purpose room so I can build a um, a reactor. That way I can power the scanner when it's um, deep underwater and not at surface level. So that way we can uh, scan for the Cyclops rather than hunt for it. But we can't really do that part of it until... Uh, I really need the, the storage ability for uh, the sea moth. Alright, well in order to not go up to like 40 minutes again, I think we're going to call this the end of the episode. We're going to leave next episode as another adventure to be had. Oops. sunlight oh wow i've missed you anyways thank you for watching and i hope that you enjoyed this episode of subnautica as hectic as it may have been <sighs> anything that's even slightly cylindrical has my attention hoping that it's some sort of fragment that i missed previously Oh, come on, dude. Do you really got a kamikaze into the sea moth, man? Like, really, man? Jeez. No respect. Oh, whoa, what's this? Probably a bioreactor, yep. And in here, nothing that has my interest. Okay, let's head back to the surface here so we can orientate ourselves. Proposed a grassy habitat. Huh. How about no? Not quite yet. What is that down there? It's kind of bright. Yeah. You're a little late, buddy. Um, oh, we have one of those shooty things after us. That's great. That's real great. What is in this area? Besides the scanner room. Anything fun? Nope. Only spiky, spiky boys, and, um, that's it. Hmm. I kind of just want to keep exploring, because this is, like, totally relaxing for me.
Maybe we'll find some fun stuff down here. <sighs> what could possibly go wrong if we take a look down here? The warpers. Right, I can hear them. Hi, you broken fax machine. How you doing? Don't mind me. Uh oh. So apparently, I'm low on fluid intake. Lucky for me, I know a trick or two about getting water when underwater. Who is next? Okay, that's not really going to help, but, you know, it'll do something in the long run. Okay, so, I know for a fact that the multi-purpose room can be found on one of those islands. So, our next destination is over there. So, we're going to skedaddle on down there and see what fun adventures await us if the sea moth ever decides to drive properly. I don't know why it's doing that weird little tilt-a-whirl thing. Dude, stop that. I'm doing, like, spins and stuff and, like, driving, like, sideways. This is kind of a cool area. Seems semi-friendly. Huh. There's data down here. Thermal. Oh, hello. I need that. So apparently, I lied about um this being a short episode. <laughs> Vehicle. Yes! I needed that really badly. Where are we? Lots of thermal plant fragments. It's kind of weird. Big old structure right there. Prawn suit arm. I'll take that. Alright, we're going to leave this area to explore for next episode because, um, kind of running out of time here. Maybe. Um, I just need to be able to see, and this, like, thing does not provide very good light at all. Oh, there's a laser cut door up there. Okay. 
We're going to return to the Seamoth, save, and then leave this part. Another time for exploration. So thank you for watching, and have